Here we have a piece of chiffon fabric and you can see this is, it's pretty shifty. So the pattern will shift around. If I pull on it slightly, you can see that it moves quite a bit. So I'm gonna take this piece of fabric and some freezer paper. Now you can see right here, freezer paper is dull on one side and then shiny on the other side. So this side that has this sheen is the side that will stick to the fabric when we press it down. So I'm simply gonna take my fabric, I'm gonna place my freezer paper, just big enough to cut out all the pieces that I wanna cut out. I'm placing this shiny side down on the wrong side of my fabric, and then I'm just lightly pressing this to adhere. So you can see right here, I did that very lightly because I'm actually on my cutting board, but that even with just a little bit of heat sticks to that fabric. So here I have a piece of fabric where I've pressed this paper down evenly all the way around. And this is large enough to cut out my front and back bodice. So I'm working with just this portion of fabric stabilized with the freezer paper. So I'm just gonna flip this over and you can see here that we have a nice smooth piece of fabric. Then I'm just gonna position my pattern pieces where I want them. And this comes in handy. It's very helpful if you have a print that is stripes, checks, or more systematic dots, and you really want them to go across the garment evenly or line up at the side seams. So there's no shifting that's gonna happen once we cut these out. Now I'm just gonna position these on here and I can either pin them all the way through both the freezer paper and the fabric, or I can, depending on how big they are, I can hold them and just simply cut the edges with my rotary cutter as I've, I'm holding them down. Now I like using the rotary cutter on this type of fabric, even with the stabilizer, because you're not lifting it up. When you start lifting this up to cut out with scissors, then the fabric is moving quite a bit and it's hard to get it to cut exactly along the lines of the pattern piece. So here you can see we have this back piece cut out and I'm just gonna take the pins out and then I can just peel off this freezer paper and then I have my piece cut out exactly along grain and on the lines of my pattern piece. Now I would test out this technique on a small portion of your fabric before applying heat and the paper to a whole piece of fabric to make sure that it doesn't affect your fabric or melt the fabric in any way. Some fabrics will respond differently and some can't be pressed at all. So take a look at the type of fabric and test it out before you use this method.